First all, a big fail to the media department. I can't believe you didn't get all my goals. You missed one. <laughs> there was three. And yes, I prepared a speech. So I thought I'm going to forget everyone. So I wrote a bit down. So I hope you are right. Um, so yeah, hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Sorry, guys. Um, but I thought I probably built up a fair bit of talking time over my 15 years. So <laughs> this will take a couple of minutes. Um, I just want to apologise to all the people I'm going to forget, as the guys have said. Um, there's so many people that you're involved with, especially over 15 years. Um, to all the people I didn't, don't mention, thank you. Um, you've, been, you've all had some sort of input on my career, so uh, thanks again. Um, yeah, firstly to Eddie Walshie, the board. Um, thank you for the, I suppose, the legacy of the, the number 35 going to the first draft, draft pick. It's a terrific honour, something I didn't really expect when Mick sort of sprung it on me on on the day of the announcement, but yeah, I'll, I'll look back and, and think I suppose there's, there's some sort of legacy that I've left on the club, so thank you. Um, my coaches, I just wanted to quickly thank Tony Shaw, he used to pick me up from research and drive me into training in my first few years. Uh, to Spud Frawley, um, the person who I've credited with putting me at, at fullback, so I don't know if it was a brainwave or a brain fade by Spud, but. Thank you for his input at the start of my career. Um, and of course to Mick, I think we've, we've, it's probably been publicised that when you first got to the club, um, I don't know if you, you didn't overly rate me too highly, um, but I'd just like to thank you for your faith, um, all the work you did with me early on and things like that, and hopefully I've repaid the faith that you had in me um, early on, so thank you. Um, also, just to all, all the other assistant coaches that I've had, I suppose especially the defensive coaches, taking lots and bits and pieces from all of you, so thank you again. Uh, the fitness staff, Butters, um, you've just been amazing, um, especially I suppose towards the end of, end of the career, you're getting a bit older, a bit sore, you managed to find ways to just keep me going, so thank you for that. I'd also like to make a quick mention to Mickey Degena. he's been here for the whole 15 years and I'm Pretty sure he still remembers my first day in the pain room, so um, he'll he'll know what I'm talking about. So thanks, Mick, for all those for all the, the years and the support. Um, the physios as well, Gaz and Scruff, probably spent more time with you than my wife and family over the last few years. So thanks, and this goes as well for Blackers, Jowie, Reuben, and Greg, the doctors. Uh, to the welfare staff, Anne, Des, Brian, Neilo, Bobby, Big Rog now. You do an amazing job, as I think Tark said, and, and it probably goes a bit unnoticed, but it's always great that everyone stands up here and thanks you, so I'd just like to do that as well. Thank you for everything. Um, the trainers, Ro, Tony, Rob, Sammy, and of course Cole. Cole, even after 10 years of taping my ankles, you couldn't get it right, mate. I kept getting tape cut and blisters. I don't know why I kept going back to you, really. I don't know why, but it was just my, my routine, so thank you. Um, I suppose now I'd just like to, to thank some people that aren't directly involved to the footy club. My parents have um, been amazing, as, as all the guys know, that they drive you around. We play in, in the under-18s and they're driving up to Shepparton and, and all those sort of places and they followed me around and supported me through not only my 15 years of AFL but my 32 years of life, so I'd just like to say thank you. Um, also, my brother and sister, um, thanks for your support as well, especially my brother. He was a bit of a confidence booster when I was growing up. Used to carve him up in the backyard, so thanks for that, mate. <laughs> um, also, my wife's parents, Belinda, thank you for your support as well. Which brings me to my wife, Belinda, um, and my two kids, Emily and Riley. Emily wasn't too sure about getting up here, but Riley couldn't get up here quick enough. <laughs> Loves it. Um, yeah, so I'd just like to thank you for for your support over the years, always being by my side and I suppose especially the last couple of weeks of my career it um, was pretty tough and you were there for the, to support me. Um, also with the kids, I suppose they, they, they were always happy when Dad came home and they didn't care if I'd kicked, had five or six kicked on me so just to so, say so thanks kids. Um, my friends, they wanted me to pump them up so just like to say thank you, thank you for keeping me grounded whenever I started to get ahead of myself, you brought me back down to earth. And they're all probably looking forward to me to getting as fat as they are, so thank you. Um, 
And finally, uh, just to the, my teammates, I'd just like to thank them for all the good times we've had, all the hard work, um, the success we've shared, and also just the, the general bullshit, which is probably heater. And just the banter around the club. You saw the black and white show and just the fun we had, so that's probably one of the main things I'm going to miss as well. Um, I'd just like to say enjoy it, enjoy your successes. I guess um, when I probably walked off the MCG around 20 against Essendon this year, which what, what I thought was, at the time was a, probably a minor corky, you don't really realise and that was the last time we ever played footy. So you never know when it's going to end. So just make the most of it, guys. Wish you all the best. And um, just like to also say congrats to Tarks and Obes, a couple of my good friends. All the best in the future. And thanks, guys. Have a good night. Thank <laughs> you.